Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars of You today's weekly Star Wars recap for November 16th, 2020. So yeah. Um got a lot of uh, new release stuff to talk about. Not a whole lot on the news side. There's some High Republic stuff, so I'll talk about that. But um yeah, but you know, before I get into all that and jump into the new releases for the week. Um you know, stuff from last week, there was, uh, from a certain point of view, The Empire Strikes Back. I wasn't uh, originally planning on getting it, but I decided to just get it and been reading it a little bit. Uh, haven't gotten hold on into it, just, you know, uh, I haven't read it since, like, Friday, I think, so. Well, no, Thursday, because today is Saturday when I'm recording this. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so, I'm not... I've enjoyed it so far. Once I finish it, I'll do a review. It is a pretty long book. It's like 500-some pages. Um, let me see. I have it right here. It's like... It's like 500... Oh, that's about the authors. That's like a full chapter in itself. Um, I'm having trouble for... Or 547. Obviously, it's... Uh, the size of it. it's not as tall as other books, um, adult novels, so probably adds a few more pages, so, so yeah, but, uh, you know, enjoying it so far, um, I didn't read the, uh, first, uh, From a Certain Point of View novel, I, I was really excited for that when that came out, but it has never gone around to it, so, yeah, at some point I'll probably read it. Anyways, um, the next new release is, uh, Darth Vader issue 7, which I thought was okay, um, I did a review of that, which you can check out, um, so yeah, and then The Mandalorian Season 2, Chapter 11, The Harris, um, came out, so, yeah, it, it was a great, you know, episode, um, enjoyed it, uh, so yeah, um, I don't want to spoil anything for it, just, you know, there's, Really, just one thing about the episode of, you know, just, you know, just great. Um, I'm probably just gonna do uh, just a video on uh, that one thing, um, you know, sometime this week. So, in fact, I, I need to catch up on a few Mandalorian season two videos. Um, I was originally gonna do breakdowns for all the episodes, but I just you know, writing for the first one, it's, one, it was a lot of work, and I just didn't feel like I was really, you know, wasn't, there's just a lot of filler stuff, there's a few topics I really wanted to talk about, but, for each episode, which I'm just going to do separate videos for all of those, so, they might have already started coming out by the time uh, this goes up, but, um, yeah, anyways, uh, Jumping into the new releases for this coming week. Um, first, there's the LEGO Star Wars Holiday Special, which will come out November 17th, 2020, um, which I'm very excited for. Uh, you know, they released a trailer, a few clips, and, uh, you know, it seems so silly and whatnot. Um, you know, <laughs> excited for it, but, um, which, you know, that just comes out tomorrow, I'll probably be, um, depending when it comes out on Disney Plus, uh, maybe I'll get a review out tomorrow of it, if not, definitely, uh, Wednesday, I'll be doing a review, so, yeah, um, which, talking about Wednesday, there's two new comics, there's Bounty Hunters issue 7, and Star Wars Adventures Annual 2020, which both come out. Um, I'll be doing a review of Bounty Hunters Issue 7, The Adventures Annual. I, I don't know if I'll read it or not. I barely read any of the, uh, you know, main adventures series. So, yeah, I only read the first few issues of the first ser series, and then I read the first issue of the uh, relaunch series, but... I don't know if I'll stick with it, um, so yeah, but, uh, then, um, 
coming out on Thursday, November 19th, is uh, Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, the uh, new uh, VR game. Uh, so yeah, I won't be uh, playing that because I don't have VR headset. So yeah, um, I think they're doing episodic releases like the uh, Vader Immortal, but I'm not fully sure on that. I guess we'll find out on Thursday. I'm like I said, not fully sure. But then finally, uh, the Mandalorian season two, chapter twelve, will come out on November twentieth. So yeah, uh, I believe this episode is gonna be directed by uh, Carl Weathers. So um, and you know because what you said beforehand that he direct, you know directed himself in the episode. So I would assume uh, then we'll be heading back to uh, Navarro. You know I. It'll probably be something like, you know, uh, grief, you know, sends him a message, you know, asking for help, and then he comes back, or, you know, something along that lines. Uh, but, you know, we'll find out on Friday when that episode comes out. But anyways, let's jump into the news. Uh, start off some High Republic news. Um, there is an extended excerpt for the uh, first novel in the uh, High Republic series, uh, Light of the Jedi, which... Uh, written by Charles Soule, uh, which he ex- excerpt, you know, like I said, extended. It had the uh, first eight chapters. Um, as of me recording this currently, uh, they haven't released all eight chapters. They've been doing, you know, uh, like every day, I believe chapters five and six came out. I'm recording this on Saturday. I believe they came out today, so next two chapters will uh, come out. I haven't read any of it yet, um, other than the first chapter, which they released as an excerpt months ago, and I read it then, so, yeah, uh, if there's more s- stuff, and I have more stuff to say, I'll throw it in right here, but, um, I'll also be doing a, uh, full thoughts video on those first chapters, but, yeah, like I said, if there's anything, I'll throw it in right now, but, um, also, uh, on Gizmodo, the uh, article where they interviewed Kevin Scott about the upcoming Marvel High Republic comic series. Um, and there's three new art preview panels. Um, so, yeah, and they're you know, just all black and white with no text bubbles. Um, one shows uh, the Starlight Beacon with uh, inside one Jedi, and I believe I think another Jedi with think is a VAR Chris, and then two, uh, other panels with, you know, um, um, the character, Keeve Trennis, is that the character's name? Uh, whatever the main character of the, the series is, I'm forgetting your name, uh, doing some stuff, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll have the panels up on the screen, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't read the interviews, so I don't know if there's any details there or what, but, yeah. So yeah, but um, anyways, moving on to the next story, there was, uh, you know, I guess, some stuff about that untitled Boba Fett project, uh, I guess, uh, on Production Weekly, which is this thing, which I guess has like a weekly thingy where they post stuff about what's, you know, movies and TV series were in production that week, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, I haven't heard of them before. Uh, this, but then again, I'm not really looking into all that kind of stuff very often, but, um, I guess on the, uh, November 12th post, it had listed Untitled Boba Fett Project and, you know, working title Buccaneer, but, you know, right before I record this, I went and looked again, and that was no longer listed, uh, but The Mandalorian 03, meaning Season 3, was, so, yeah, I'm not really, uh, sure about, uh, that and whatnot, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, the Untitled Boba Fett Project, and I talked about that last week on Weekly Star Wars Recap, about, you know, De- Deadline reporting that they might be doing a Boba Fett miniseries, filming, like, this month, uh, so, yeah, like I said, I'm not fully sure about those reports or not, so... Yeah, deadline is reputable, but... 
who knows, um, I guess we'll find out sometime, but, um, also, Mount Production, uh, it's, uh, Diego Luna posted a video to his, like, Instagram or whatnot, I don't, I don't know, but he was preparing to start filming for the Cassian and the series, so, yeah, obviously so that's really nothing special, we knew that was going to be filming soon anyways, but, um, yeah, and finally, uh, on, um, the Penguin Random House, uh, website, which is the, uh, you know, publisher of the, uh, Star Wars novels, well, it's published under Delray, which is a part of Penguin Random House, but, uh, on their site, they, uh, listed a release date for the, uh, Dr. Aphra, um, print version of the Dr. Aphra audio drama, which, that date was, uh, listed for, um, April 6, 2021, so, yeah, um, it was be, like, the Dooku, uh, Jedi Lost, you know, that was originally an audio drama, and then, you know, they released a print, uh, text version, I guess, so, seemed like the same thing will be happening there, so, yeah, um, but other than that, not much else to talk about, um, you check out my reviews on The Mandalorian Season 2, and all the ones coming up soon, and, you know, all my stuff on The High Republic, and everything else I do, and you can, uh, subscribe to, you know, know when that will be posted, but, uh, yeah, anyways, um, I've been Star Wars of you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You know this is no place for a child. Wherever I go, he goes. So I've heard.